control his emotions. And that was okay with me. And you know what? I had a perfectly good day again. And if he didn't, that's his fault for having those thoughts that I should have been more on top of things with a friggin' timer, okay? So let's go back to Sarah for a second. She weighs 200 pounds, she wants to lose weight. The thought is, she wants to lose weight, but it's gonna be, and it's gonna hurt, but it's gonna be so worth it. And the feeling that she now has is she's excited to get out of her comfort zone and get it going. And the action now, because she's super passionate and excited, is that she goes to the gym and she's super enthusiastic and she focuses all of her energy on getting in shape. And the result is she loses the weight and she starts to feel great and inspires others to help her. And guess what? She still likes cheese. But she was more excited about her new life than her cheese. And so she got rid of it for a while. So I wanna ask you guys, do you want a change in your life? Okay, one that makes you feel badass? Or one that, and one that makes you feel exhilarated when you wake up? Like you wanna run around the house naked with music on, right? Like you wanna laugh so hard that you wanna pee in your pants or that you pee in your pants. Like you wanna yell from the top of your lungs that you are friggin' amazing. That is the life I wanna have. So those are the thoughts that I'm gonna choose to think. Now, it sounds easy, but I promise you it's not. It isn't. I mean, my heart was beating the other day when Wes was mad about the six and a half minutes on the iPad. I could feel the, feel the, the tears dwelling, and if you go really deep into the work, you know, there's probably some stuff there. Somebody made me feel really bad at a certain point, and I felt like I deserved to be yelled at, and there could be a whole lot of crap that we can dissolve there. But I, you can choose not to if you want to. You don't have to live like that, and you can't raise to the level that you want to be. Because you guys, this life ain't no dress rehearsal. So if you want to make a change, you actually can. But like I said before, what I'm telling you is not about just working harder. It's not about the actions, and it's not about trying to change your victim circumstances. The change starts with your thoughts. Now let me give you an example that's more relevant to all of us in this room. I got a text message the other day from one of my top leaders and she says, hey, sorry I haven't connected with you in a couple of days. It's been a little crazy and stressful. I'm looking at houses, I'm dealing with putting offers down, etc." I'm back home today, I'm focusing on catching up. I have several team calls, a few one-on-ones, a few emails to go out, samples to go out, et cetera. I need to put some time into my marketing project as I'm feeling a little bit behind the eight ball. You guys see anything wrong with that? <laughs> She's feeling behind the eight ball. She's feeling crazed and stressful. Now she's a super positive person and she can get a lot of stuff done, but if those thoughts are running through her mind, her actions are gonna, feel, are gonna be scattered and the results are not gonna be as productive. Can you see that? Here's another one. I loved this one when I got this one two weeks ago. I just don't know how my next rank is possible. No one's attending my events. My leaders aren't doing anything and I'm just not even sure that this is for me. How many of you guys get that? How many of you guys feel that way? So they may seem innocuous if you're not looking at them as thoughts, and it actually may be a true story to you, but let's look at that again. How does it feel in your body to be crazy, stressed, catching up or behind the eight ball. How's that feel? How does it feel to say out loud, my next rank just doesn't seem possible? Seriously, you believe that? How does it feel to say that? How does it feel in your body, you guys? The feeling is a sensation 
Like when I got queasy in my stomach, when I felt tears dwelling, when I felt my body shaking, when Wes was yelling at me about the friggin' iPad. You have to be able to understand what you're feeling. And what some of these women before me have said is so many times we don't want to feel, so we ignore it by doing things like drugs or alcohol or maybe overworking or underworking or not doing something at all or working out too much or starving ourselves or watching too much TV. We basically anesthetize ourselves because we live in a society that has before taught us it is not okay to feel. Now, I don't know how you would feel, but if I had those thoughts, I would feel depressed, anxious, unworthy, pressured, and a whole lot more. And I would prefer to feel amazing, inspired, passionate, excited, and proud. So what do we have to do? Let's look at the model again. The circumstance is I have a business. The thought is the next rank is not possible. The feeling is depression. The action is she does nothing. The result is the next rank is impossible. Why would it be? Now let's look at it again. I have a business. I am ready for the next rank. I am passionate about what I'm doing and what I'm sharing and I'm excited. And the, the action now is with incredible energy oozing through my body, I continue to make relationships, nurture them, invite and close the deal. When you feel like that, you easily slide into the next rank because your thoughts dictate your feelings, which then dictate your actions, which then give you your results. You guys have a choice. You really do. And you get to think about any circumstance that you want to the way that you want to. You are not a victim to any circumstance. When you change your thoughts, you change the way that you feel and you achieve the results of the life that you design. So I'm gonna tell you some more information about that leader that didn't think her rank was possible. We did a little thought work, this was actually a session. And I actually found out that she had been raised in a foreign country, which I knew, with no money, which I didn't know, in a circus. Her parents were lived on a circus, which I didn't know, with a childhood that she was really embarrassed by. Her thoughts growing up were that where she came from was no good. So everything she was doing was tracing back to those thoughts. Can you see that? So the old thought was the next rank is impossible. The new thought that she chose after I pointed out to her that she moved to the United States, got a job, was supporting her family, had children, joined network marketing, was making at least $5,000 a month in the industry and opened an entire country in our company, seriously? And she was embarrassed by her past? Clearly, we had different thoughts. My thought of her and her thought of her were not the same. So, how do you know what anybody is thinking of you? And, even if they are thinking something, so what? Who cares? I don't care what anybody thinks. And that is why I move through my day with grace and with ease and integrity. The old feeling that she had was she was embarrassed, she was shamed, she felt like a victim. Her new feeling that she chose for herself was that she was empowered and she was excited to be a badass. Her old action was she was doing nothing her new action is that night, she had an event and had 100% enrollment. 
And guess what rank she's sliding into this month? The next one. So we don't even really have to talk about the results, you guys, though, because you can tell by the new thoughts and the new feelings what was going to happen with her life when she started to believe that something else was possible. If you're having a thought that you don't like, you have to ask yourself, do I really believe this? Or do I want to believe this? What would I prefer to believe instead? 90% of the time, I talked about this earlier, but I talked about the statistic, 90% of the time we're living in the rear lobe of our brain where our thoughts are operating on a subconscious level. So you guys, we have a choice. We have a choice. We all have circumstances. The dog had, went out in the morning. My daughter's sitting there on the iPad. I am in a business. I put an offer down on a house today. All of those are circumstances. But how you choose to think about them is completely up to you. And it will generate how you feel, which will then dictate your actions, which will then give you your results. Now, some of these thoughts I like to call indulgent because we're literally allowing ourselves to indulge in thoughts like, tell me if this sounds familiar, I'm busy. I'm overwhelmed. That makes me feel like sticking my finger down my throat. Why are you choosing to think that you're overwhelmed? Why would you want to choose to think that you're overwhelmed? How does that make you feel? I'm worried. Well, that makes sense because now you're spending your time worrying about something that you cannot even control. And we entertain these indulgent thoughts that are based on these past stories that no longer serve us. You know, I have this fear of heights and it's kind of ridiculous. Anytime I walk on a high bridge or I'm in a high elevator, like I was at my sister's wedding last weekend in New York, and the whole room on the 39th floor was glass. I was freaking out. My daughter was like, no problem, leaning against the edge of it. I'm like, get her away! Like they'd have a building that a six-year-old could fall through, right, in New York City? But it's like a real feeling inside of my body. It's a real feeling. So I can do two things about it. I can say, okay, Haley, Notice the fear, it's just fear. It's just a feeling. And if I'm okay with feeling that feeling, it's gonna go away. Guess what, I didn't notice it once the lights went off and I had a great time at her wedding. Or I can try to get over that fear, telling myself I'm not afraid of heights. Or that it's a huge adventure to walk across a big long bridge. And it's silly to be feeling those feelings. I don't know where that story even came from. I never fell off anything. <laughs> so <laughs> we're all stuck in these stories though of who we no longer are because every single thought is based on an interpretation of what has really or maybe not really happened or has happened but not the way that we actually remember. It's usually not. So who here is ready to disown their own story? Stand up for a second and tell me, I am ready. I am ready. To disown my old story. To disown my old story. To notice my thoughts. To notice my thoughts. And choose a different one. And choose a different one. You guys, it's really that simple. And if you're really ready for a change, you can crush it. You can crush it. And if you're not, you will be stuck in your old thoughts and your old stories and you won't, someone will crush you. So are you ready one more time? To own the thoughts that you want, to author the life that you want to live. I know that you all can totally 